Thank you. Uh, this award got me a, a little giddy. I got giddy when his name was mentioned, and uh, someone who's been a journalist in Africa and UK and here, uh, I'm always glued to my television. Uh, I got so anxious one time I went to his studio and took a picture with him. I don't know if the picture is out, but it's not. I am talking about my main man, Steve Dunn. G give him a round of applause. There are journalists and there are journalists. There are those who carry the toga of journalism for personal aggrandizement. There are those who carry it for community service. And I'm here tonight to proclaim that Steve Dunn has carried his journalistic muscle to make amend, to make our society better, to provide information that are trusted, and to rally us away from our division. And he's simply the best that I've seen in this business, and I, am not, I have seen a lot. And uh, it is easy to craft this, uh, uh, this uh, tanks and accolades, but I'm speaking from my heart. I have spent time with Steve. I have talked to him. So when the board suggested that we recognize a journalist uh, and Steve, I said, count me in. So ladies and gentlemen, tonight, uh, let help us to celebrate the best of our journalism and the best of our journalists. Ladies and gentlemen, give you a round of applause for our honoree, Steve Dunn. Thank you, folks, very much. Thank you, fellow honorees tonight as well. I appreciate that. I really want to hear it. Take a moment to thank Promise and the League of Minority Voters. Honestly, when you think about all that they've done since 2007, when you founded this, they have carved an incredible path that brought us all here tonight. Um, I promise I won't take long. I don't have my teleprompter, so that messes with me every time. Let's hear for Travis as well tonight. Travis. It is, when we talk about everything that this league does, it's up to us as the media to get the word out. That's what it's all about. The representative talked about us being community servants. That's what we are. We're just getting the word out to everyone in as unbiased way as we possibly can on a regular basis. We started something a couple of years ago called Know Your Candidates. And we've interviewed several of you in the room here on this. And it's, yes, exactly. You guys were just there last week, as a matter of fact. 50 plus candidates we have. Uh, at katu.com, and you can go there, and it's local, it's metro, it's county offices, federal, all of them on there. If you're registered to vote, we'll interview you. We don't care what the pollsters are saying, who's going to win this race. If you're registered, we will interview you. Now, we're all, we're all booked up to, for the primary, but there's the general election. So if there's someone in the room that hasn't been interviewed at KETU.com, please come on down and we'll make sure that that happens. Because that is our job, is to get the word out, tell folks what you guys are doing. It's not easy being a politician because I have interviewed a number of you. It really does take a toll on your life and your family and we appreciate all that you do stepping out there to make this happen. It's all about more inclusive voting process. We know that. Right? That's what makes it all go round. So thank you very much. Keep doing what you're doing, the politicians, the folks at the league, and thank you for this honor. I appreciate it very, very much.